Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblog.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to select only numeric columns from a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use the example data that we can create here in lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code then you can see that a new data object appears here at the top right and we can also have a look at this data by running line 7 of the code and then you can see here in the bottom in the RStudio console that our data consists of five rows and four different columns. Now we can also inspect the classes, the variable classes of our data by applying the str function as you can see here in line 8 of the code. So if you run this line of code then you can see that here at the bottom in the RStudio console uh, some output is created which is showing the class of each of our variables. So the first variable is an integer, the second variable is a character, the, the third variable is a numeric variable and the fourth variable is a factor. Now if we want to extract only the numeric columns of our data then we can apply a combination of the unlist and lapply functions as you can see here in line 11 of the code and within these two functions we need to specify our data frame so in this case our data is called data and then we also need to specify that we only want to select columns that are numeric by specifying the isNumeric function here. So if you run these lines of this line of code, then you can see that a new data object appears here at the top right. And if you have a look at this data object by running line 12 of the code, you can see that the code here at line 11 created a data object which is returning whether a column is numeric. Then um, you have here at the bottom the logical value true. Or if it's not numeric, then you have the logical value false. Yeah, and uh, now we can use this logical vector to select or to extract only the numeric columns from our data frame. And this is shown here in line 13 of the code. So here in line 13, we are subsetting our data so that we are only extracting the numeric columns that we have stored before in this logical data object num calls. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see that another data frame is created here at the top right, which is called data num. And now if we run line 14 of the code, you can see which of the variables were extracted to this new data frame. And as you can see, it's only the first column and the third column. So all integer columns and all numeric columns were extracted from our data. Yeah, this is basically how to select only numeric columns from a data frame based on functions that are already prov provided by the basic installation of the R programming language. However, there are also alternatives based on add-on packages. And I want to show you one alternative here in the next, in the second example of uh, our video. So here in the second example, starting from line 16 onwards, you can see that we are using the dplyr package. And the dplyr package is a very powerful package for the handling of data frames in R. So we can install and load the dplyr package as you can see here in line 17 and 18 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it here with line 18. And then within the dplyr package, uh, there's the function select if. And the select if function is selecting only columns from our data frame that are fulfilling a certain condition. So in this case, we would specify the condition to be is numeric. And uh, if you run this line of code, then you can see another data frame is created here at the top right, which is called data num2 and if you have a look at this data you can see that it's exactly the same as the data frame that we have created in example one of this video.
So which of the options you use, either the base options or the options based on the dplyr package, is a matter of taste. However, you have seen in this video that there are several alternatives for the selection of only numeric columns from a data frame in R. If you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial which is explaining the code of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of this video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications about videos that I'm releasing in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.